Alexa Morel is 31 with a beautiful family, and she's also diagnosed with metastatic young onset colon cancer. So I was diagnosed as a perfectly, or so I thought, healthy 29-year-old mother. I thought it was an old person's disease, and that's completely untrue now um, because it's rising very fast in people my age. Alexa has a young child, a career, and all of a sudden she was thrown into treatment for cancer. Basically live in three-month increments of you know, a scan, do I need another surgery, you know, balancing being a mother and a wife and a job. She's treated at Dana-Farber Cancer Institute's Young Onset Colorectal Cancer Center and says it offers her resources and tools specifically to meet her challenges. Everything from support groups for patients her age to workshops on parenting with cancer or seminars on careers in cancer. One thing she has learned is she is not alone. It's a really unique age group with, with a lot of unique needs. Kaylin Fletcher is a social worker who meets with patients like Alexa. Dana Farber's center is one of the only in the country that has a social worker exclusively for young onset colorectal cancer patients. Our nursing colleagues and our physician colleagues are really concentrating on, you know, what's going on physically with our patients, um, clinical social workers like myself, are, are really thinking about everything else. What is going on psychosocially? What is going on within a family system? Who is this person's or this patient's supports? Do they have any mental health history or history of anxiety or depression that might be popping up? Body image. You know, many of my patients have ostomies um, or ileostomies um, and deal with a lot of you know, GI challenges. For a lot of our patients, especially in the Young Onset Center, the medical system is completely new. And really, generally, I think of myself as you know, a safe space for patients and caregivers to talk through really difficult issues with and someone that they don't need to protect. Kaylin says other tough topics include impacts on professional careers or how to talk to kids about a parent's cancer. That's something Alexa can relate to as her son is now three years old. He doesn't really know me any other way aside like from going through treatment. Kaylin helps guide patients to workshops and tailored groups, all offered virtually to best accommodate needs. There are specific groups for patients with metastatic disease, patients in earlier stages or entering survivorship, as well as a group just for caregivers. Kaylin can also connect patients with services. For Alexa, she found great comfort in learning meditation at the Zakem Center for Integrative Therapies. Meditation is something you can, I did it at hospital. Like I did it, I do it at home. Alexa says when she first came to Dana-Farber, it helped. Just knowing there are other patients out there on similar journeys, as well as doctors dedicated to understanding why younger people are getting diagnosed. It, it is helpful to know that you're not the only one going through it.